Hello my friends, my name is Tim Johnson. For those of you who followed the channel for a while now, you'll know that mostly it's about getting out of addiction and becoming stronger as a human being, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, in every single way. And as I've learned things along the way, I've shared them in my videos, things that have worked for me, things that haven't worked for me. And there's about 250 videos now, so please subscribe, like, share them. It just means that more people will see them. And the channel has grown and become a lot about now becoming the best version of yourself and putting yourself out of your comfort zone and growing as an individual stronger. Once you've got out of those stages of addiction, those early stages, and you go on to start living your life, then it's all about pushing yourself a bit further, growing in every single way and becoming, as I say, that best version of yourself. One of the things that's really helped me along the way has been intermittent fasting, which I've talked about before on the channel. This, is, this video is not about intermittent fasting. This is about proper fasting. And the benefits of intermittent fasting are in, based in science. They are documented. They are many, and I'm not going to bore you with them all now. Um, but I am going to talk about the benefits of doing the fast that I'm going to start tonight. And I am going to start to push myself out of my comfort zone now. I'm going to talk about this fast I'm going to start tonight. I've never done a, a proper fast before. This is a so-called water fast. And I'm going to be doing it today is Wednesday. I'm going to be starting it at 6 o'clock tonight after my meal. And I'm going to break the fast on Sunday morning. And then I'm going to make a video on the Sunday about how I felt during the fast um, at every stage and my, the, you know what it's done for me, basically. And um, I hope you'll find that interesting and give it a go yourself. There's a massive science behind fasting now of the benefits of it. And they are many and plentiful, I assure you. One great study to look at is um, in January of this year, 1,400 people. The results were incredible and amazing. And this is, uh, like I say, everything I'm talking about today is based in science. It's, it's something I've researched very deeply before I'm going to have a go at it. The best way to do it, um, the benefits of it, why to do it. And I'm going to share those with you now, but I'm not going to bore you with all the scientific reasons and details. I'm just going to go tell you some of the benefits and um, I can talk more in detail about that at a later date. What I will say first of all though is as a slight disclaimer if you like, if you have any underlying medical conditions or you're on any sort of medication, please talk to your doctor before you have a crack at this because um, you know get his or her advice on it, particularly about stopping medications during the fast or taking them or not taking them. Don't do anything uh, silly or dangerous like that, talk to your doctor first, and as I say, with any underlying medical conditions as well. Um, right, the fast itself, uh, uh, why am I doing I'm going to talk about why I'm doing it, which is a very qu quick reason, the benefits, and how to, to best do it and approach it. So it's a water fast, so basically all I'll be um, drinking over the period of from tonight six o'clock till Sunday morning which is just over three days so about 80 odd hours 85 80, 80 to 85 hours um, and that's when the benefits start to wane a bit on the third day the, the most benefits come from the first sort of 48 hours if you like uh, but I'm just going to be drinking mineral water but every morning I'll be having a a little teaspoon of sea salt in it, half a teaspoon of sea salt in it, just to keep the electrolytes up and so the body's electrical system can work properly and you're not doing without that. And also green tea, matcha green tea, which has many, many benefits, even if you're not on a fast, but actually helps the fast along. Uh, as does a morning black coffee. Again, no sweetener, no milk, just a black coffee, uh, green tea and minerals. That's all that I'll be taking in over this period starting tonight. Why I'm doing it is because it's winter on, sa uh, on uh, Saturday night here. Um, winter starts officially, or well, Sunday morning if you like. And this fast is considered to be a total reset of the body, a reboot. 
if you like, like a computer reboot. It resets everything, makes it more efficient, uh, and I'll explain the benefits now. I also want to push myself out of my comfort zone um, um, mentally and uh, and a bit physically, I suppose. But because the benefits outweigh the slight bit of discomfort at the beginning, um, you know, it's well worth doing this. Believe me, for anyone. And this is geared uh, because that study that I talked about, young people and up to in their 90s were doing this study. So whatever age you are, this will benefit you, I promise you. you know, and the science is all there for you to have a look at. The benefits of it are many, plentiful and bountiful. I'll give you some of the main ones. There are many more than this. But that reset of the body I'm talking about, once you start and you're in full ketosis, if you like, which is when the, the body stops burning glycogen and starts to burn fat as energy, it becomes a much more efficient machine. And obviously you get the, the perceived benefits of some weight loss, but I'm not actually doing this for weight loss. Some people might, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. There'll be a big water loss from this, uh, from your body, but it creates this fat burning mechanism um, in your body, it makes you more efficient, it makes you burn fat, and instead of burning sugar all the time. It also helps uh, stop glint, you know, regulate blood sugar. It helps your blood sugar regulate, so even when you restart eating again, you won't be getting many of these great spikes and sugar cravings and that, because your body will be working more efficiently and, and will go to the fat burning mechanism rather than sugar. But I'll talk about breaking the fast in a minute. Stem cells, there's a massive increase in stem cell production in the body. The body repairs itself. This is the reset and the reboot I'm talking about. The body repairs, you know what stem cells do? Um, you know, look at the science behind stem cell implants now that are going on all over the place. Uh, but the body starts to produce loads more stem cells and repairs itself. Another one is inflammation. Inflammation, and again, I'm not going to go into the scientific reasons for this, but inflammation reduces to nothing. Basically, all that inflammation that's going on inside you that's caused by the food that you eat, environment that reduces, pain will reduce. Certain ailments you have will improve. Your skin will improve. Your hair will improve. All sorts of things will happen as your body regenerates. Something called autophagy happens. And autophagy is when the cells cannibalize themselves. So any weak or damaged cells are cannibalized and eaten. And again, stronger cells are produced. Telomeres are strengthened. And telomeres are part of the cell. Again, I'm not gonna go into the science of this. Look it up for yourselves. Telomeres protect the cell, make it stronger. They, get, they are made stronger and um, the cells are made stronger. It helps with aging. It, it, you know, it stops aid, the aging process in your body fasting. Uh, it's a great, great thing to do for your body. So talked about stem cells, talked about telomeres, talked about inflammation, weight loss, which is an added side effect, um, improvements in various ailments of your body. Another one is your brain. There's a chemical release. released. I'm not going to go into the, the great long name, but it's released during fasting. It's like brain fertilizer. It makes your brain grow. People report during a fast, usually in about the second day of this zen calmness and this almost transcendental calmness and a boost of energy in your body. Rather than feeling hungry and weak, you're actually strengthened and this massive calmness and, 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 and focus comes. Two reasons for that. One is GABA is produced, um, which is calms your brain down, calms your whole body down. So GABA is produced extra when you fast. And this other chemical, which is a brain fertilizer, which helps the synapses fire, which makes the brain grow and regenerate. And people report that they can get so much more done. And uh, again, I'll report on this during the fast, uh, after the fast, sorry. So there are some of the benefits. There are many more. Please have a look at them. Uh, you'll find them all documented well now, scientifically proven. How I'm going to do it? Well, I've talked about mineral water, green tea, black coffee. Um, I'm going to start uh, after my meal tonight. It's always best to go into this fast slightly in ketosis if you can, so you don't get this massive dip in energy from when your body stops burning sugar 
um, and, and starts burning fat. So intermittent fast the day, a couple of days before, if you can, and reduce um, your carbohydrates and drink, eat more protein and fat uh, before you go into the fast. So your body sorts of started to go into ketosis. It doesn't need to be full ketosis, but it just makes that transition easier to to um, to go into, and you won't get this this massive spike or dip in energy that you may get. Uh, also, the um, before the fast. Like I say, when you, when you have your water every single day, don't forget your half teaspoonful of sea salt. The red Himalayan sea salt is the best because it has all sorts of uh, electrolytes in it. But normal sea salt will do. Um, that'll be fine. So that's how you go into the fast. And during the fast, don't do any heavy weight training or uh, real um, high performance exercise if you want to call it high intensity exercise it is absolutely fine to do some light weights or I'm walking obviously and stuff like that you want to because stimulating those muscles while you're in a fast there is muscles there is glycogen stored in the muscles even though you're burning fat and in full ketosis doing some exercise and moving every day while you're in the fast will get the rest of the glycogen out of your muscles and uh, make the body much more efficient as i say when you break the fast it's really important just to break it gently and the best way to do that is when you break the fast if you can do this you'll be, you'll be hungry obviously is to just have six or seven ounces of lean protein meat or or, uh, or steam vegetables and vegetable protein pea protein something along those sort of lines, just to ease your body in slowly, hang on for another few hours before you eat a full meal, and then don't go reaching for the junk, try and be conscious of what you're eating, you know, balance it, um, so you're not eating any any sort of refined, you don't want to put your body, body back to square one again, because this will just, this fast will reset everything. So I hope that's been um, some help to you. I'm going to be starting this, like I say, tonight, and I'll report back on Sunday. And, um, you know, hopefully I'll be okay and feeling great, which I'm sure I will be. So thank you for listening. Carpe diem. Put yourself out of your comfort zone every single day, if you can, and grow. Be the best version of yourself you can be. Just do your best. That's all you can do. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.